Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make 3D Movement Unity. This is probably the easiest thing you're going to do with your programming career. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a cube. I'm going to right click in the hierarchy, go to Field Object and create a cube. And I'm just going to come over here to the Transform, set the X position to 0, the Y to 0.5 and the Z to 0. And I'm just going to move over here and you can see our cube is standing on top of this invisible grid. I'm also going to create a ground. I'm going to right click, go to 3D object and create a plane. And I'm going to reset the position by putting zero. And there we go. We have our cube standing on top of the ground. Now I'm going to add the movement script. So I'm going to click on the cube, come over here to add components. And I'm just going to type movement simple and new spaces I'm going to press create and add and once this is done loading I'm going to double click on it all right our code is loaded now so you can see we have two void functions in here this void update is called once per frame and the void start is called when the game is started so simple move script is pretty easy all we have to do is come over here to the update function and type transform dot translate and then we type which direction we want to move in so you, you can see here that i need to put in a vector 3 so i'm going to type new vector 3 parentheses 0 0 and 0. Now I'm going to save my scripts and come back here to Unity and I'm just going to come over here to the game, click on that, click on the camera and I'm going to set this position to 3.5 on the Y, negative 5 on the Z and the rotation to 30 on the X. So now we're looking directly down at our cube and now I'm going to press this play button and you can see right away that our cube is not moving. It's not moving because we put the zeros in all of the directions. If I wanted to move to the side, I would change my X position. If I wanted to move up and down, I would change my Y position. And if I wanted to move forward and backwards, I would change my Z position. So I'm gonna go back to my code. For my Z, I'm gonna type one. Save it and go back to Unity. And I'm going to press the play button. And now you can see our cube just zoomed off there. So what if we wanted to move with the arrow keys? Well, that's pretty simple. I'm going to, instead of 1, I'm going to delete it. And type in inputs dot get access vertical. And what that is, is if we press the up arrow vertical will be one if we press the down arrow vertical will be negative one for the horizontal movement setting input dot get access horizontal and so if we press the left arrow horizontal will be negative one if we press the right arrow horizontal will be one so i'm going to press the play button and I'm going to use my arrow keys and now you can see my cube is zooming around. It's pretty hard to see so I'm going to right click in the project, go to create, click on material and I'm just going to call this player. And I'm just going to click on this base map here and here's a color picker that I can use. So I'm going to change this maybe to a red color. And now I can drag it onto the cube and now it's red. One problem we're having, it's moving way too fast. So we can fix this. Let's go back into our code. I'm up all the way at the top here. I'm going to type public floats speed. I'm just going to click right here and types, type time speed. So all our values in here will be time speed. It, um, 
except on the Y, so we won't be moving up. Let's minimize, let's go back to Unity. I'm going to click on the cube and set my speed to so something I like, so maybe 0.3, press play, and now you can see our cube's moving a lot slower. So something like 0.1 is good. So that's it, we have pretty simple movements. If you want to have more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and click on the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.